Hey guys, it's Dreamer again, here with episode 3 of our little walkthrough of playthrough of Pikmin. Walkthrough, playthrough, blah, 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 all same words. I remember watching a video that was talking about integrity, and if you don't do it, then it's just words. But then again, every word, if you don't mean it, it's just a word. That's how language works. One off. It just feels like a very redundant state statement, I should say. Eh, 75 sounds good. Because that leaves me with 25 more slots? No, it doesn't. It does not, in fact. I guess I can just get 25 off my... Get some guys working on the wall. There we go, good enough. Now, to, uh, work, I guess. Get all my yellows working on this bridge. And all my reds on the ones next to the- <gasps> Bread bug. Guys, it's the best character in every Pikmin game. The bread bug. I'm gonna give it a good smack of hello. Hello. Don't we all just love Breadbug? If you do not love Breadbug, then I'm very I'm sorry for your loss. Well, let's go quickly meet the blue Pikmin. Whoa, it's the blue Pikmin. Whoa. Oh, whoops. Uh, whoa. Whoa. Oh, God. Controlling the camera with keyboard controls isn't the easiest when you're trying to hold a normal controller. If I was smart, I would map the buttons to my game controller, but uh... No thanks. Oh, and if we're lucky, the bread bug will come down here for a snack. Look at that. Look how lucky we are. Oh, although, uh, we will have to make him slow down a bit, because we need him to stay in a good range. Dude, I don't want the menu. Stop it! Please slow him down. Ouch! Oh, well, uh... Yes. Yes. Come on. Go back here. And there we go, now we got the, uh, space float in the bag. Just gotta butt these dudes real quick, though. Uh-oh. Uh. There we go. Space float acquired. I mean, when you listen to the sound effects of the... Red bug passing away and the dwarf full board, they do sound similar. But like I said last episode, uh, apparently they're the same thing. My childhood's not ruined, what do you mean? All my life I thought the dwarf full board was a bull board. Was it even last video was the first video? <laughs> Since I'm trying to do an experiment about seeing how short videos work, I Loose, I've lost track. But hey. Continuity? I hardly know her. God, I've never made a worse joke in my life. Actually, you know what? I think I'll just take on you for right now. Let's try to tackle them one at a time. Sheer wigs? Sheer grubs in general are just very annoying. Especially if you cannot see. At the current moment, I can't. Set stupid walls in the way. And I swear if you need a Pikmin, I will end you. That's why I hate sheer grubs and sheer wigs. They suck. Prepare to meet your maker. So I guess prepare to... Yeah, who did develop Pikmin?
Get him. Ah, uh, these walls are in the way. They're shielding you from the action. Don't, don't, I was about to say, if he gives up, I'm gonna have a stroke. Well, uh, while they do that, I guess I'll just get my red pigment to go grab the... Yeah, that's enough. What, one of them died? I didn't even hear the eating sound effect. That's just mean, game. Look at that, you can't like hurt them while their Pikmin is in their mouth. Well, I guess, heck you, game. Well, I guess I'll get them working on the gear. I can think of all the other names, but of course not the gear. Something like automatic or like that. Arg! I don't need that. No one needs that. Oh, I should have got them working on the gravity jumper. At least the yellow pigment started on it. But hey, who cares? It's fine. It's fine. We don't we don't need to worry about saving time. I mean, we're only in six minutes, and we're doing pretty well, I would say. Yeah, I'll get that thing out of the water. Okay, good, and I can just grab all my Pikmin real quick. Right now, I just want my... Blue Pikmin going after the Blue Pikmin stuff. There we go, and I can go get the number one I only in chat. Uh, three. Good enough. Good enough for me. It's good enough for me, it's good enough for you. And there we go. Get this thing going. Yep, it's the number one Ionium jet. And over there in that pool is the analog computer. Is it the automatic gear? I can't remember. Come on, Omar, tell me what it is. Never mind, I guess I can remember all of them. Let's see how long this will last. Before I inevitably, inevitably forget everything. There we go. What are they stuck on? No. They're stuck on pellet posies? When that Pikmin fell, huh? No, I don't, I don't need to know what it is. I just need them to not be stuck on something so dumb. Now, I know the AI in this game is worse than Pikmin 2. Kind of obviously, because, you know, it's the first one. But I didn't think they were that dumb. Actually, do I even have enough reds to go? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. Just want to know. Also, they died a fire much faster, so I need a lot... I need to be a lot more careful about where I put these guys. I've heard a lot of people complain about the crushing glitch in Pikmin 1. But I've never encountered it never been affected by it, so... I guess it just doesn't exist for me. I guess my copy of Pikmin 1 just likes me. Sorry for all of you who have, uh, your game- Oh! I've been scared by a lot of things, but that is one of the dumbest. But hey, we got the number one Ionian jet. The only thing I have trouble naming is the Libra and the Stagrius, the little things that go, the little green sparkly doodlies on Olimar's ship. I just can never remember what, which one is which. If I had to guess, the Libra is here and the Stagrius is 
no, it's the Stagrius is here. Libria is the other one, which is here. Crazy how Space Folk got there. Look at that, three parts, and it's not even noon, I think. Nope, it's past noon. Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, he's not gonna... Oh. You know what? I've never seen... Huffman. I should have done that, but, uh... It's too late now. This guy's already, uh, perished. It'd be very useful if you guys weren't useless. Oy vey, where are they? There we go. Now I just gotta go, uh, distract this wallywog. And I guess... Execute that guy. You guy? Yeah, jump over here. Jump over here. Far away from where my pig won't be. Come on, come on. It's like trying to get your dog to walk, but it's trying to take a nap. I think my dog's broken. He does he doesn't want to jump right now. That's probably good. If I had to make a guess. Yeah, they're getting the Omega Stabilizer back to where it should be. But look at that, I know what it's named now. Uh, Probably should go back and get those not working Pikmin on the wall. Well, one of the walls. The one that leads to the analog computer and the green sparkly thing. Stagrius or the Libria? Which one will it be? It's like a game show, but uh, not as fun. You know what? I could go grab my walkthrough guide. That would make my entire channel redundant, though. Or would it? I swear, if any of them catch fire, I'm gonna borderline have a stroke. So they die so fast to fire in this game, it's actually unbelievable. You know, it'd probably been smarter to, uh, get these Pikmin to carry the Omega Stabilizer back, but, uh, it's too late now. Yeah, because they, if they ca catch fire, which they most likely will, because those two bull fiery blowhogs will certainly catch them on fire. Oh, please don't, please don't. Phew. Their fire range isn't close enough to me. Good thing, too, or else uh, I would have pooped my pants. It seems kind of like a waste to come over here, though. But hey, I'm already doing it, so what can you do? There we go. Now we can start carrying the other thing back. I've heard a lot of people will complain about this grass being in the way, but it's not that in the way. I mean, yeah, I've played through the game and had them grab onto it countless times and caused me thousands of seconds of frustration, but uh, other than that, it's completely fine. You know what? Oh, look at that. It's gotten there. I guess with these bomb rocks, with the ledge we're about to unlock, we can open up the beady long legs area. Can you guys just like finish it? And quickly, right now, please. Come on, come on. In a timely manner, please. I'm asking very nicely. For the love of goody goshness, please pick up the bombs. I really don't have the time of day. Oh, and yeah, something I learned while uh, playing a, a second ago, I say second ago, a few days ago, is that uh, if a Pikmin catches fire, and uh, like if the blowhog shoots at it, and it catches fire, will they make it? No, they will, they will not make it. I have to go stop them. But yeah, if they get caught on fire by a fiery blowhog's fire fire, 
then uh, they will in fact, if you whistle them, they will drop their bombs and they will go kaboom. How do I know this? Uh, I try that. Uh oh, that might have been a mistake. Did they make it? I think so. I could have sworn I saw them right beside there. Yeesh. Well, if they didn't, then I swear I'm going to have the biggest manly cry anyone's ever seen. But hey, that's like, what, five, four ship parts in one day? I mean, I got the automatic gear, the gravity jumper, the Omega Stabilizer. Oh no. Did they not make it? I mean, there's only two there, so I mean... What are the odds? Oh. Oh. That's a lot. I shouldn't have blown up that wall. And I shouldn't have saved. Oh no, I could have saved myself. No! Well, I mean, uh, how many Pikmin do I... <laughs> Uh, let's go get some pearls. If you guys didn't know, pearls give a lot of Pikmin. So uh, let's get a lot of Pikmin because, you know, something bad just happened. No, we had 102, I think. I only need 10 of y'all for the task we're doing today. Yikes. Well, uh, at least I've learned to not be risky again. Oh, actually, no, I should be risky. Provides for a more entertaining show. And also, if you're wondering why I'm getting all my yellows out, so I don't have to pluck any blues, or reds for that matter, because I know I'm going to have to... Ooh, an incandescent flint beetle, or just a flint beetle, whichever one it was. I'm gonna hit you once and I'm done with you. Uh, come back here. Oh, no, no, don't do that! Oy vey. I really would have liked it if, uh, more than, like, five Pikmin got freaking flowers. Well, there's another one? How about, uh, go to the house called I Don't Caresville? I should have said sitting step house, that would have been- No, he's right where I need to be! Move, please! No! No, he- he knows, he's aware. I just need to get up this ledge, please, don't come up here again. No one- no one needs you. No one wants you, no one needs you. Okay, good. No, don't be right by the wall where we're about to blow the smithereens. Nice. Please fall faster. Well, I should have got enough to get that 20 pellet back. Well, thanks for being useful. I would have preferred it if you just dropped the bomb, but uh, what do I know? Good enough. Good enough for what we need today. And four, that's exactly how much we need. Exactly. Oh, never mind, it's three. Oi. I guess it has been a long time since I've seen how many Pikmin it means to carry a pearl. I guess I'll skip this guy to. Oh, dang. Well, he lost his rock and he lost his life. How sad. Or not, I guess. I guess I can just slowly get back over there. I swear if I have to split this one day of getting the positron generator, I'm gonna have such such a stroke. Gosh, I'm already having a stroke. It's not time yet. 
It's like the fifth time Olimar said, I always exceeded 100 Pikmin and no more Pikmin will come out. We get it, bro. We get that you have no more Pikmin coming out. Now shush about it. Why are they giving up? Don't give up. Don't give up. What are you doing? The last thing I need for you is to give up. Like, it's really unhelpful for you guys to give up at this moment in time. Nice. We got it. Maybe after this I can play Endless Abyss or Pikmin 1 Randomizer. Both sound fun. <clears throat> Quickly get all the Pikmin carrying it. Uh, don't, don't come to me, please don't. Well, let's quickly go get the other pearl, why don't we? Yeesh. Wait, I hear them giving up. Please, for the love of everything, don't give up. Oh, look at that. Positron Generator has gotten back. I feel like every time I say Positron Generator, I have a small accent. It's already too late. Come on, clam down. Yeah, just get it already. Since when did you have so much health? Exactly why they abandon you. You know what, Clam? That's why you're not gonna be a good dancer. Cause you won't get the thing going. I guess I can just get the blue pigment working on that. Grab my yellow pigment. Oh, I thought I had more. Lovely. That's probably enough. Alright, gra grab my... Grab my Pikmon. Hmm, I guess I'll have to be a bit creative about this. Never mind, I'm just gonna have to come back. Can't wait for the distant spring tomorrow. Can you guys? I can hardly wait. Wait, no, it's not the pearls that gave you 100 Pikmin, I don't think. It's the thing that the smoky prog drops, isn't it? Well, uh, while we can, let's try to get as many... Actually, you know what? Uh, grab... I just want my yellow Pikmin, please! Just let me grab stuff! Let's try to get all my blues flowered. I just want my yellows, please. This is something I will never miss from a Pikmin game. Not be able to switch your Pikmin. Yikes. Imagine if I was one of those gamers who had their heart rates on the screen. Mine would be spiking to about 10,000 right now about how angry I am. I can't switch from blue to yellow. Things that should make no one angry aside, uh... We're almost about done with today. I guess we can get those... Guys flowered, that's about it. I mean, we have time. Let's just quickly return all our... Reds. Oh, 
That took longer than I expected. Be nice if we could see. Look at that. There's so many Pikmin that just got nectared. But as soon as one touches it, it's impossible for anybody else to get any nectar. Oh, and there's another incandescent flimpealer. Just flimpeal, whichever one it is. I can't remember for the life of me. That's kind of neat. It kind of depends on what Pikmin you hit it with. Um, amazing. We don't need him anymore. Just quickly put those guys up. Could you guys go any slower? I mean, seriously. Oh, and something that uh, is not kind of, it's kind of related, but not really. You see how whenever I switch to different kinds of pigments, like leaf, flowered, it doesn't do that in Pikmin 3. It just bothers me. Why doesn't it? We had the technology in Pikmin 1 and 2. And I don't think it took up- I don't think it takes up that much memory to change a picture based on what Pikmin is. But, uh, there we go. All my, uh, blue Pikmin are flowered now. Well, at least all the ones that need to be. Who's missing? Oh, right, there's that one red pellet way over there. I'm just gonna leave them down there. I don't want them to get caught. Yoink. Well, guys, that just about wraps up today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this little... Well, I say the little. We're not done yet. I hope you guys should enjoyed today's installment of Pikmin 1 playthrough. I think that's one of the weirdest ways I've ever outroed, but I hope you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, and subscribe. Bye-bye!